I think my strengths on um, a really long race like this are probably my uh, mental abilities to just really put the perspective on the race and remind myself why I'm doing this race and um, really stay positive. Uh, as soon as I start getting negative, that's when I start getting into trouble and you know, you start, uh, I think the negativity in your mind can lead to your body even feeling worse than it's probably already feeling. So I just try and stay really upbeat and really to remind myself that I'm super fortunate um, to be out here, you know, running a race in this beautiful area. And I'm so lucky that my body is able to do this type of thing, that even if I'm feeling a lot of pain and discomfort, that if I just remind myself to really enjoy it, eventually um, the bat body will kind of come back and I'll be able to finish those last, those last miles. So, yeah. And so do you have any specific mantras or anything that you say to yourself? I do. I, I, it's actually not, it changed my mantras kind of change from race to race um, a lot of times it's just something super simple like um, you can do it or just keep going like just make it to the next aid station just make it to the next aid station and then I'll feel like I can regroup and go from there um, or I'll just kind of lie to myself and be like you're loving this you're loving this um, you know denial um, so anything like that it kind of just changes and depends on the day nothing nothing too specific but yeah that positive talk um, positive self-talk does help and um, I was uh, I spoke to Jez Bragg a while ago and um, he said he was having a really bad UTMB I think it was 2012 or something like that and he said um, that you were next to him and you were like come on Jez it'll be fine I'll tell you a joke uh, so I just wondered do you have a repertoire of jokes that you can tell oh, when you're feeling bad yeah I have I have a lot of jokes that <laughs> I tell myself some not repeatable on camera but I do that's another trick I have is I'll either like sing songs in my head like funny little songs um, or sometimes Sometimes if it's like I'm just really struggling mentally, I'll uh, replay like a favorite funny movie in my head, kind of just like go through it. And then before you know it, you've like passed like 10 minutes on the trail and you haven't thought about like how much you're sucking right now or things like that. But um, yeah, I think my jokes helped Jez that year because I think he got 10th that year. So he was pretty happy. I yeah. remember what it was, Jez. Uh, it was... Um, <laughs> uh, it was uh, probably. Oh, that one's kind of bad. I'm Is trying it about to remember. Oh, you were singing. I sing. Singing. I have a frog song. Yeah, yeah that's really what obnoxious. That? It's a song I learned at camp years <laughs> ago. But um, uh, yeah, I think I told him. No, I probably didn't tell him that one. Yeah, I probably <laughs> told him a naughty joke that I don't want to repeat because I get in trouble. That, that was really yeah, bad. that's great. Um, so. Um, so you mentioned how to keep going when everything hurts. Have you got any advice on and how kind of normal non-elite people can keep going when everything hurts? Yeah, I think a really good strategy, especially in these really long races where you know you're going to be out for more than a day, is to break everything into smaller, more manageable parts. So just saying, if it seems like too much to think about getting yourself to the next aid station, because sometimes those can be hours and hours apart, I'll even do the thing where like, okay, just make it to those next trees up there. And when you get there, you can stop and have a drink and regroup. Um, I also think it just slowing the pace down sometimes is totally fine. Allowing yourself to walk um, where you might think that you should be running is totally fine if it prevents you from stopping too long. Um, and it's fine to take little breaks and regroup and focus on your nutrition and realize that you might be in a low point, but if you're able to just kind of ride that low point out and not panic and not be like, oh, I'm going to give up, that eventually things will usually start to get like a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. Um, so yeah, breaking it into smaller, more manageable pieces, even if it's like very, if you, even if it's only like a hundred yards or something, just being like, okay, just make it to there and then keep going like that. It's really interesting that you say that you probably will have low points. Yeah. So it's really interesting because you probably have to prepare for those as well, don't you? Yeah, you definitely have to prepare for the low points. I think for me, my goal um, is always to kind of ride that middle middle ground, um, to not have these kind of peaks and valleys of running really fast and feeling super good. Because often when you do that, you know, an hour or two later, you've exhausted yourself and now you're hitting a low point. So I try never to like fully put on the gas. I try to just kind of be in the middle and find that zone where I just feel comfortable. I actually don't feel like I'm pushing too hard because in a race this long, um, it's just a war of attrition. And so if you can just 
find a pace that feels comfortable. I also think the biggest mistake that most people make, myself included, I've done it numerous times, is going out too fast. Um, and this race, you know, there's so much energy and the atmosphere is just so electric at the start. And there's so much adrenaline going that it's really easy to go out way too fast. Um, but if you're gonna be out there so long, it's okay to kind of go actually a little bit slower than you normally would in the beginning because you'll make it up later on down the trail. Um, and so to really just focus inward and not look at like how other people are doing, that'd be my advice. Yeah, like yeah. Race, yeah right? exactly. Yeah. And how important for you is nutrition in um, keeping the morale up? Uh, nutrition for a, a 170 kilometer race is paramount. It's it's huge. Um, so I'm really, con I'm like, I really, really focus on nutrition and uh, I really pay attention to it. So I'm constantly just kind of nibbling on things and eating things. I don't like too much time to go by when I haven't put something um, uh, in my mouth. Um, so I do a lot of Coca-Cola um, and a lot of like bread and cheese and I steer away from stuff that's too sweet. I mean, I know Coca-Cola is sweet, but there's something about the liquid that it and the carbonation settles my stomach. Um, yeah, I really have to pay attention to nutrition on, on, on this type of race, yeah. And do you eat like every half an hour or hour? Or are you oh, I eat more I eat more frequently probably than every half an hour. I always have little things in my pockets in the front and I'm taking um, a good strategy I find is like if you're listening to music, like at the end of every song, take a sip of whatever you're drinking type of thing or take a little bite of something or if you're doing like little like gummy blocks just take one like every 15 minutes for the blocks but like a sip of water or fluid like at the end of every song usually helps and um yeah really just yeah really have to pay attention to nutrition in these races that's really really helpful i like yeah. the end of the song thing so yeah you've got a favorite few songs that you like to do oh i do i love uh you know i'm a child of the 80s and 90s so i love i love some good 90s pop i love salt and pepper um push it is my all-time like I want that song playing at my funeral. I love that song. Um, anything like that, you know. I love Spice Girls. Um, I just love some good old like '90s pop music. Totally teeny bopper stuff. Love it. Amazing. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Well, I think all that's left to say is to wish you good luck. Thanks. For tomorrow, come back after a few years. Yeah. How are you feeling about that? Uh, I'm excited. I love uh, this course. It's just beautiful. I think the concept of running all the way around the Massif is just so cool. It's not every day that you go and do that. So um, it's just a big and grand adventure when you look at it that way. So yeah, I'm excited. And all your posts on Instagram just look so fun. Like you're having so much fun out there. Yeah. Like, are you in it to win it tomorrow or are you just out to have some fun? I'm just out to have some fun. I'm not in it to win it. Uh, I've never been in it to win it. I That's just not my attitude about running. Um, I'm just not a competitive person at heart. Um, so I just want to go out and feel like I tried my hardest, um, but like win, lose, or draw, I just want to feel like I had fun out there for the majority of it and just challenged myself. So, Amazing. yeah, yeah. Well, good luck, Gloria, and thank you so much. Yeah, for thanks. Here. My pleasure. Bye.